Okay, to start the testing, uh, I'm going to start with what widely regarded the benchmark of the industry for a couple of decades now, the Titleist Pro V1. It's a ball I've played a lot um, over the years. This is the new version of. Uh, I know what it's going to feel like. I know it's going to feel nice. I know it's going to feel soft. I'm expecting a low-ish ball flight, but quite nice spin rates. Um, let's see if we get the same sort of information as we've had in the past. It's a very well played ball on a lot of tours because it does what people expect and there's certainly some benefit. If you need help holding greens, if we want a little more distance, this sort of ball is going to help us out. We're going to move into the Pro V1X. Uh, I used to play this ball some years ago. I've played it on and off. I've tinkered with Pro V1, Pro V1X. I'll be honest, I used to play this ball for a really dumb reason. I like red numbers. Great decision to make a play the ball. But for me, this is a high flying ball, certainly off the driver. High fly, low and spin, which is really nice. Actually spins a touch more into the greens than the Pro V1. Um, so quite useful if we're struggling inside 100 yards. Maybe a ball like this might help us out, especially uh, the condition the guys get our greens in these days. Let's see what we get. Certainly a little higher flight, touch more spin, good sort of numbers again, same sort of distance as expected. Descent angle, the angle in which that ball's landing is improving. So again, a ball like this helps me get into some corners of greens, gets at some tougher flags, carry bunkers and hold greens. Okay. So if we look at the numbers we just gathered there, um, just to try all the different golf balls, we'll see how they compare, see what they do. The Pro V1, as I said, benchmark of the game, I've used it a lot, does what I'm expecting. Carrying in that mid-150s, 160s total. Spin rate, kind of right where I want it. Um, descent angle, 46 degrees, landing nicely. Height, again, I don't know the exact numbers, Trackman does. I'm pretty happy where that is. Be interesting to see where they compare and if they do what they should do. If I look at the Pro V1 versus the Pro V1X, what I would see is carry similar, total distance very similar, spin rate certainly up a little bit. So I've gained, gained a little bit in my spin rate and I've gained a little bit in my descent angle. So that ball is landing a little steeper. Pro V1X unsurprisingly is gonna stop a little faster and we can see it here, the blue line shows us the images with the Pro V1, red line shows us Pro V1X. Launches a little higher, spins a little more, lands a bit steeper, no loss of distance. So those balls do exactly what the box tells us to do, which we're not surprised they've been doing it for decades.